Hello everyone, uh, my name is Yu Wu. I'm speaking for this super early stage startup coming out from MIT called PipeGuard. What we do is we help municipal water utilities find leaks, save water, and protect infrastructure. Every day, 20% of all the clean water produced in the world is lost due to leaks. And those leaks are either not found or found too late. We commonly see those sinkholes on the streets in Boston because a lot of those leaks divide into pipe breaks, cross sinkholes, property damage, and disrupt traffic. So, putting into the perspective of the whole city of Boston, every year about $10 million of clean water is lost. And nobody's, uh, we are all paying for their loss, by the way. And in addition to that, million dollars more are paid to the property damage caused by those water main breaks. And in addition, they are paying millions more on repairing those water main breaks. With PipeGuard, at PipeGuard, what we want to do is to help Boston cut down those losses by more than half in three years. How do we do it? We have developed a tiny robot that, um, that can find water leaks from inside the pipe. This is one of them. What it does is this is a soft material robot that can bend, that can put into water pipes, float with water, and then tell at what point in time, at what point in the pipe there's a leak. And the way it tells leaks is to look up the suction force created by the water that's escaping from the pipe. This blue material on the robot is the tech, uh, is a touch sensor. It can feel that suction force and infer there's a leak. The most straight, direct way of measuring leaks. And we have done many field tests. In the field tests, what we do is we put those robots into existing uh, the underground water pipes through existing T-junctions. The robot will float with water, go downstream, record its journey through the pipeline, and at what, where it saw leaks and how big the leaks are. We retrieve it from a downstream T-junction, which commonly is underneath fire hydrants, and then we download the data where they stay from the robot, produce a map of leaks for the water companies. First test we did was in a test facility. We did a benchmark test in Saudi Arabia for, uh, with one of the professional service companies for Saudi Aramco. In that facility, we, benchmarked our, uh, we did a benchmark test with our robot and the most standard leak detection solution on the market right now. It's an acoustic correlator that attached multiple sensors on the network so that they can tell uh, where there's a sound generated by the leaks and they find it that way. In this benchmark test, we have proven that this particular robot could tell leaks 10 times smaller than benchmark solutions. And more importantly, we can tell leaks within one feet accuracy, while the sensor network approach tells you a leak within 100 feet. If you are a water company, someone tells you there's a leak within this 100 feet, are you going to dig up this whole 100 feet to find a leak? Or you prefer to use this robot to tell you exactly where you want to dig? Oh, more importantly, this is the only solution on the market right now that works in both plastic and metal pipes. About 40% of all the pipes, in, at least in Europe, are all made out of plastics. We have a big niche there. So earlier this year, we also take this robot to Virginia. Uh, very nice to have one of the municipal utilities there to allow us to put a robot into their water mains. And in the middle is Steve. He has a finger one there because he's the first technician in the world that used this robot in rare water mains. He is very proud, saying uh, we. So in this test, we run the robot through a 1.2 mile water main some households along its way. We put it in from one of the T-junction underneath the hydrant, and then the robot flow with water come out from the other T-junction underneath the hydrant. The beautiful part is we didn't even need to put a catcher in the pipe to retrieve the robot. When at the downstream T-junction, they open it up about 25%, and the robot just flow out with the water. So no retrieval needed. It comes out itself. This was the first ever field test we did in rare water pipes. Very exciting. And we have built different versions of robot, big and small. This small one in my hand was for a two inch fire suppression system in buildings. We have also a four inch, six inch robot for water mains. So feel free to check out our robots. We have a booth near the entrance to the right hand, uh, left hand side. Thank you very much. I'm opening for questions. How do you know where the position is of the robot in the pipe? Sorry. Uh, can you repeat the question? Yeah, how do you know where the position of the robot is? So this particular robot uses a, uh, a special algorithm we developed at MIT. It basically counts joints in the pipe. In water pipes, there are every time pipe join together, there's a joint. And this robot can feel it. And then through counting joints and additional algorithm, we can know where, how far a robot went, where it turned, 
where it is in the pipe and thus where the leaks are. So in the case of that last project you mentioned, like the 1.2 mile, what's the testing result? How many are leaked? So the question was, what was the result coming out from the Virginia test? We are under NDA with a client not to disclose their pipe condition. But I'm going to say, I can comment about it. <laughs> Thank you.